Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. My name is Gary King. I sit on the voluntary board of Young Enterprise for West Yorkshire, and I'm absolutely delighted this afternoon to chat to one of my former teams when I was a business advisor, um, White. So, um, Miriam, you were the MD. Yes. Just tell us a little bit about the team, what you did very quickly, and then we'll get a, a view from the rest of the team on their experience. Okay, so um, I was the MD of our team. Um, we designed a product called the Air Chair, um, and we actually managed to get quite far. Went down to London, presented to British Airways, and all in all, it was a really lovely experience. Um, and yeah, we learned a lot of things along the way, and we all actually bonded really well as well. Um, Fatima, do you want to say anything? Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it too. Um, I think what particularly stood out for me in the experience was um, uh, the experience we got for project management. Fatima, I think we've lost you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, maybe she'll come back then. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Marion, back to you then. Just give us give us a little flavour before Fatima comes back. Just tell us a little bit about the product, how you came up with the idea. So, as it was quite a long time ago, um, but from what I remember, we were actually going through a lot of different ideas, um, and we ended up picking this specific one because it did stand out to all of us. Um, it was actually a inflatable chair. Um, for aeroplanes, which is completely random. Um, but we all liked traveling and a lot of us have younger siblings and younger family members. So it was really easy for us to jump on board with that idea. Um, it was actually creative and we got to interact with people who were like designing it in China. And it was actually really, really interesting. Um, yeah. So, so, so it was an inflatable chair so that mm -hmm. children could almost be at the same level as the parents yeah. so they could interact because there's a lot of disruptions on aeroplanes from children mm -hmm. that are unruly so they could interact with their parents, they could see the screen in the back of the seat, they could see outside and the magic of mm -hmm. it sold a yeah. product didn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It did. Bethany what was your experience through the process? I think I learned so much that I still use now. I said, like, um, I think I did social media and like marketing. Oh, is it there? Yeah. Yeah, I did social media and marketing um, as part of my role. And I think that's helped me so much as well with what I'm doing now um, and like learning how to push myself um, with what I'm doing. And I think the confidence as well when we had to mm -hmm. present, because I was such a nervous talker like talking to people I would just ramble and I would say so much rubbish and I think when we went down to London and when we had to present at the competitions the amount of confidence because I remember we just practiced like every week in the classroom trying to like get that presentation perfect I think the amount of confidence that gave me as well and I had to think before I speak and <laughs> yeah. no I definitely learned so much and how to even start a business which I had no idea to do and I never thought I'd be able to know how to do it but it was so helpful because you're and a you founder know. of a charity as well aren't you so you'll have used a lot of those skills in that in that role yeah like with the social media side remember like learning loads about like apps like I think is it Hootsuite and yeah. like scheduling tweets and like the same for Facebook and just so it's regular and to keep that um, a momentum going and a following so I think it helped so much and I just I learned so much that I just didn't know before like social media now I think is like definitely the way to go and it's where everyone seems to be in businesses and things like that so having to learn that for this um really did help fab and Malak just talk me through this right so you girls got flown down to London to meet the senior team at British Airways and you presented to the head of global customer marketing at British Airways. Scary stuff, right? I mean, it was scary <clears throat> at the time because I think we were like 15, so it was obviously a huge step forward. But I feel like our passion for what we were doing, like we had to research so much before we found the right product. 
we were trying so hard to think of something that we thought was missing in like the market at the time and as 15 year olds that's quite daunting at first and to get told that you're along the right tracks and you're going to be presenting to like a big official um company or, or like uh, British Airways is huge but I think and I say this till this day on my CV it's one of the best things is that it taught me teamwork and because we had such a good team if one of us was to shy out at one point or to make a mistake we'd quickly have someone else jump in and I think that's one of the key things for me it taught us how to work together communicate confidence it was really an amazing experience and I, I remember it was Hamish was the gentleman if you remember the head of customer marketing he said that he gets many, many companies coming in to pitch to him and yours was one of the most standout pitches that he'd seen from any organisation. And this is a bunch of girls at 15 years old flown down to London to pitch to quite a senior guy and you guys, you smashed it out of the park. <laughs> so, you know, how, how do you go from shy, not confident teenagers in, in within months pitching to such a senior person and, and having such an impact? I think it's I think it's like with anything that you do loads of research for because we, we were out doing um, surveys in public. I think we went to Crown Point and we were like approaching strangers and I think just that stepping out like out of your comfort zone, just approaching people and asking them their opinions, that often involved rejection sometimes or not getting the information. But like because we'd done so much research and we were so like passionate and motivated about it, I think that just kind of naturally boosts your confidence. Yeah. And we had such like support, like good support team. We had you, we had Miss Watmore and we had each other. And I feel like um, all that kind of gelled together to make us like confident. We didn't realise it. I remember shaking as I spoke, but because I was so like enthusiastic about it all, it didn't seem like that. So they were really impressed with us. And Marion, what, what was it like for you? What, your experience of leading a team and being a managing director at 15, what, what was that like? Do you know what? It was really scary. <laughs> I don't really know what I was doing. I remember when we appointed the roles, I was like, oh, oh my God, like, I'm going to have to step up. But um, I really enjoyed it. The girls are really fun to work with. And it didn't feel like I was leading the team. It was just we were all working together. And it was kind of like, okay, I had to make the decisions. But we all kind of supported each other. And it didn't, it felt like friends, like I was just working with friends, not just random people yeah, was, so, was there, was there yeah. a time through the process when you had to make a tough decision um you know, do you need to let anybody go from the team or did you need to say no to anything you know i think there was difficulties we had when there were certain people pulling their way and then obviously when certain people weren't um that's always difficult when you're working in the team because you don't want to be the one who's like putting all this effort and then just people who aren't but when we had that issue, we kind of just figured it out again. Like we were a team, we just all figured it out together. If we ever had an issue, we kind of just worked through it, made sure that it, didn't, it wasn't like there all the time, kind of just resolved the issue straight away. Um, but yeah, we didn't have any like major issues ever. But, yeah. but you had fun, you learned a great deal. Of course. Mm -hmm. So in your, in your view then, a valuable experience? Because it's at, at that age, you've got a lot going on in your life, haven't you? You've got you know, kind of sports and studying and social media and friends and, you know, it's a big commitment, isn't it? Would you say it's a, a worthwhile, valuable experience? 100%. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say to any, because it is difficult at that age, you know, making such a commitment. What would you say to anybody that's thinking, do you know what? Have I got the time? Have I got the patience? Is it right for me? What would you say to anybody that's thinking, is this right for me? Should I, should I jump on the company program with my school? You know, um, when we, when we first started off, I remember at that age, pretty much every event we'd get told about, we'd get told, this will be good for you in your future for your CV. And I remember at the time, not really understanding what that meant and the importance of that till this day. I think it's one of the best things on my CV that's carried me through, mm -hmm. um, job applications for internships at uni now. Um, it's, it seems a bit daunting and a bit, it seems like it's a little bit more effort, but the experience you gain from it and the lessons you learn are honestly like so important for the rest of your life and future because I've not forgotten anything I've learned. I've carried that through and I just think it's one of those experiences that you'll never forget, especially if you get an opportunity like we did to go down to London. Like it looks so good and it, 
um, improves your character, personality, confidence, any kind of skill you'd need, really. So it's a bit of a no-brainer then. Yeah. Much, yeah. yeah. It seems like um, when you go into real life, I feel like at school, obviously you learn from a textbook and it's all subjects, but I feel like you don't learn when you get into real life almost, like yeah. dealing with money and things like that. And I feel like this, that programme definitely helped a lot with, I don't know, like accounts and things like that. Um, like meeting people um, for like businesses and in job interviews and things like that. I think it definitely helps like networking. And I think us, like all the girls in this, we were never in classes together. I think I was on like different sides of the school because you have your Spanish side and the German side and sets. Um, I think we're all in different classes. I think it was nice because we might not see each other in school, but I think we all bonded over this group that we did after school. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're all in different places now like I was in London and things like that but everyone's still like it's so nice to do this and we realise that we're all still in touch and nothing's really changed much and it's nice because otherwise you would have never really got to know each other I think through that we've made a really good friendship so, you, so you've got lifelong friendships you've learnt stuff that you that are just going to see you through every, cho- every career choice every interview every, every situation in life yeah definitely Fantastic, fantastic. Ladies, I just wanted a quick catch up this afternoon. You've given us some great insight, some great feedback. It was a pleasure working with all of you. Was it four years ago now? I think we're longer than that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Time flies. So quick. Time flies. But do you know what it was a it was a pleasure being able to support you through that time. Um I this is why I love working with the young enterprise, just having the opportunity to support such amazing young people that have just got a a passion and an energy to learn and to achieve and to have fun on the way. So, you know, the fact that we got down to London was a, was a bonus for me, but uh, no, it was an absolute pleasure. So thanks again for your input and your time. And um, I wish you all the best with your future endeavors. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks ladies. Take care.